12 Reasons Why Clacton-on-Sea is one of the worst places to live in England. In our video that features Clacton-on-Sea as one of the towns in England, we tried to stay on the positive side. We knew for sure that the town has many more going against it than for it. We are sorry, we just have to focus on the negatives now. We have once proved that it is a poor town to live in. It goes without saying that a poor town can hardly be one of the best towns. In this video, we will give 12 reasons why Clacton-on-Sea is one of the worst places to live in England. Of course, we would also try to state the defence of those who do not want to agree with that ranking. 1. It's a shadow of its past. Clacton-on-Sea used to be one of the best traditional seaside towns in its country. For some 100 years, the seafront has presumably been a destination for holidaymakers. Unfortunately, the town's reputation has plummeted in recent times. It's now being overshadowed by the other seaside destinations. It's no longer the seaside resort people flock to when they need a break from everyday life. The last part of the 20th century saw holidaymakers turning to cheaper and richer package holidays elsewhere and making trips abroad for their break away. This turned the town into a place without purpose. Thus, visitors no longer have reasons to visit Clacton-on-Sea, as was the early case in the 1900s. 2. The town is drab. Just try and look up this town and see what your search result will be. It's just like an empty space on the web. This is because nothing is really happening there. It's like a place stuck in a time warp. You will discover that very little progress is being made in this town in many aspects. They have no leisure complexes like the ones in Basildon, Colchester and Southend. The same housings have been there for over a century without modern touches. They don't have retail options and this leaves the town stagnant. Not much will be seen in the town reflecting his history and culture. 3. The Dry Seafront Seafront towns are naturally not a place for serious investment unless there are some serious initiatives. These are what is missing in Clacton-on-Sea. It lacks investment, unlike some seaside towns like Margate and Leon Sea that have adapted and become trendy. All you'd find in Clacton-on-Sea is the same pier and amusements of the time past. That makes it an old-fashioned town. In defence of the town, it's being promised that the pier will soon have a new roller coaster installed on it. They also claim that in the summer months, there's plenty to buy in terms of food and drink. 4. Its high street is uninviting. The high street in the town is nothing to write home about. Businesses are closing down while empty shops line both sides of the street. No new ones are opening up. Most of the few shops still operating in this town are still charity shops and pound shops. That means you've got no compelling reason to do shopping here as you won't have enough to buy. No wonder Clacton-on-Sea is one of the worst places to live in England. Lovers of this town believe that the plan to rebuild 250 new homes in the little Clacton part of the town off Thorpe Road, if successful, will increase the population and bring in new leisure and hospitality business. 5. It's depressing. Tendring has been described as one of the most depressing places to live more than once in reliable rankings, including the ones in the official sources. This is mainly due to the level of deprivation in their towns without any prospects. That's why residents are unhappy. Those among them seeking happiness do move elsewhere. Though a recent government survey reveals that many residents of Tendring are happy with their local authority area, with many of them rating themselves 7.5 out of 10 in the happiness index, Clacton residents are especially not happy. Clacton-on-Sea is the reason the whole local authority is regarded as depressing. 6. Increasing crime levels one big reason why Clacton-on-Sea is one of the worst places to live in England is its high crime levels. A number of high-profile crimes have been committed in the town. An example of such news-making crimes in recent years is the murder of a man in nearby Jaywick. When you combine this with an unsightly public image of the town, you can't argue that it's a dangerous place. Some who are downplaying this situation claim that Clacton-on-Sea gets this notoriety because crimes occurring in seaside towns usually get more publicity. However, areas like this shouldn't be reporting crimes regularly because it's a tourist and public destination. No wonder the town is left with a poor reputation. 7. The pier has been abandoned. The main attraction of this town is its pier. However, this pier is small, 
derelict, impressive, and as observed earlier, stuck in the past. Worse still, it is now falling apart. For instance, following Storm Kiara, a significant portion of the town's pier fell into the water. Even attempts to repair it has failed because of its weight and heavy rain. The support used in repair didn't set well and it eventually collapsed. Of course, they claim that the pier structure is now in the process of being strengthened for the new ride installation. 8. It's a deprived town. None of the many areas of Clacton-on-Sea has been among the least deprived. They all have been close to the top of the deprivation table at one time or the other. However, one particular area of the town has been repeatedly included among the most deprived areas in Britain. In this area, the roads are all cracked and broken. Many houses are abandoned and falling apart. As usual, there's a defence. They say the nearby village Jaywick is the one named the most deprived area of the country, with the addition that it's only one small part of the area surrounding Clacton-on-Sea. 9. The beaches are dirty. This is quite obvious. Even governments in recent years have explained how dirty the water is, which makes it unsafe to swim in. The Groin 41 beach needs to be given particular attention. It's situated next to the iconic Clacton Pier. For almost a decade now, it's been deemed unsafe to swim in. While issues surrounding Guyon 41 are serious, some lovers of this town say that the case is isolated and other beaches aren't like that. However, even the beach opposite Marine Parade East, which was given the highest rating in the town by the government's environmental agency, isn't clean by UK standards. The same is the case with beaches that are close to the Martello Tower. 10. It's not very accessible. The location of the town towards the tip of the Tendring Peninsula makes it difficult to get to. If you attempt to drive to this town, you'd find it difficult. Meanwhile, public transport that could come to the rescue isn't regular there. You must be a John Walker to be as mobile as you need to be when living in this town. Its supporters will be quick to point out to the town's link to towns like Colchester and Chelmsford via the A12, one of Essex's busiest roads and Clacton-on-Sea's train station, a terminal for the Greater Anglia Line with a direct route to London. But how often are these used? 11. It's run-down neighbours. This is no fault of Clacton-on-Sea. However, the fact that its nearby towns are run-down makes this entire area of tendering far from being a nice place to live. The combination of Jaywick and walton on the Nays bode no well for this town. Everywhere near it is awful. The town is just too far away from every uplifting and exciting development. The money simply is not there to encourage living there. Any town close to Basildon and Horndon on the Hill Village is one of the worst places to live. 12. Nothing to do there. There's really nothing to do in this town for those who hate a boring lifestyle. Other than being a seaside town, there isn't much else about Clacton-on-Sea. Clacton-on-Sea is seen as a town on the seaside and not much else. You won't find the bustling nightlife there. There are no cinemas, libraries, museums and even top-taste restaurants and pubs. It has no historical attractions. There's virtually little to do for both residents of this town and visitors in terms of relaxation, tourism and entertainment. No wonder it always turns to a ghost town in the winter. Lovers of pleasure among the residents always move out and no one comes there for anything. Do you agree with these reasons? What other reasons do you have to agree that Clacton-on-Sea is one of the worst places to live in England? Please tell us. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.